Hello guys, the Chilean Retro Gamer is back uh, for starting this new section. Uh, let's analyze, let's review some virtual console titles from the different classic uh, systems uh, to recommend, to promote, um, to bring you back some memories of good games which you should get uh, for for the virtual console in case you have uh, a Nintendo Wii console. Well, today I want to focus on three NES titles. The next time, the next episode I will be focusing on SNES uh, titles. Then, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Genesis, etc. I will be focusing uh, on one uh, specific console in each episode. Um, I will try to review all the virtual console titles. I will try to do it. In case I can't, well, you have to comprehend. Not all of these games are my, my, I mean, my favorites. So uh, I will be remarking. I will be uh, promoting the ones I really love. I really enjoy playing. And this is uh, again my opinion, my suggestions, my preferences. So today I will be uh, doing a mini review of three NES titles available for the virtual console and of course I recommend you get and I will be explaining my opinion, my the reasons why uh, I would get these titles in case I have a Nintendo Wii and for you too of course. Let's begin this. Well guys, the first game I want to share with you, well, this is a classic as or more classic probably than uh, Super Mario Brothers released in 1985 well, this is the original Mario Brothers, released, as you could see, in the title screen in 1983. Well, this is originally an arcade game. But definitely this port was the most important one. Well, the gameplay, as you can see, is pretty simple. You have to defeat all the enemies. Well... This is uh, a gameplay which was followed for many games during the the rest of the 80s and 90s. These kind of platform puzzle games in which you have to defeat all the enemies to get through the level and go to the next one. Again, this is a classic arcade game. Um, very famous with a lot of ports and many uh, let's say modern versions uh, available for example for Game Boy Advance in the in the different Super Mario Advance titles uh, Super Mario Advance 1, 2, 3 and 4 uh, each of them with a a special option to play this game in a modern version again so uh, you can play for a long time without uh, getting bored, in my opinion at least. It's a game that, that you definitely should get for this um, virtual console, if you have the chance, of course. I consider this game pretty cool, even even more taking into account the the year in which this game was released with many faces because I mean in general terms these kind of games tend to be tend to have very few amount of levels and you have to start everything from the beginning but this is different in a certain way because you have lots of challenges lots of new enemies new faces so it's really interesting, really cool to to play this game and again you spend a lot, of, a lot of time playing this game it's really enjoyable okay let's stop the, the this mini review of this game and let's move on to the next one well this is another classic arcade game sorry that in my opinion you should get for for the virtual console Gradius Originally made for the machines in 1985, 
well, this port was released in 1988 by Konami, a really famous, important, probably one of the most important video game companies of all history. Well, this game probably, you could agree or disagree, is the most uh, famous, the most popular horizontal shooting up ever created. And the most difficult one at the same time, I think. It's pretty challenging. That's why I really recommend to get this game. A lot of action, a lot of uh, challenge again. Well, one of these days I will be uploading the, the let's play, the, the long play of this game, but the original version, the arcade version, again, which was released in 1985 by Konami. Well, sometimes uh, this game tends to be a bit frustrating for the player, considering the difficulty, uh, I don't know, especially that, that that factor, the, the difficulty of the game, but again, this is a challenge, this is a video game, it's not necessary to beat the video game the same day you get it, I mean it requires practice to get used, that's a, a very good, um, very important feature of classic games, the difficulty, so it's necessary to practice Again, to get the use. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> I didn't remember this. This part, anyway. Um, so, again, if you like shooting ups, if you like challenges, I really recommend this game. Pretty enjoyable, pretty famous. This is uh, definitely a uh, classic of classics that you should get for the BC. Okay, let's move on to the third and last NES title that I want to promote in this episode. Let's see. Well, this is another classic NES game, Super C, which is actually Contra 2, the, the sequel of uh, Contra. Well, I still don't understand why uh, Contra 1 uh, it's not available for the virtual console. It's, it's something that I still cannot understand. But it doesn't mean this game is not enjoyable. Totally the opposite, in my opinion. Probably this game is 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 easier than the first Contra game. But again, it's not a piece of cake. It's pretty challenging, pretty interesting to play, pretty enjoyable again. I really love this game, despite it's not. This is not the the first Contra game. It's not the original one. Anyway, you can find a lot of action, new weapons, good challenge, amazing locations, etc. That's why, again, despite this is not the original Contra, I really like this game. Well, you know, this, uh, this title was released originally for the arcade machines in 1888 under the name of Super Contra, and not Super C like this one, which was released in 1990, of course, by Konami. Again, this really important, very respectable video game company. So, you should get this game if you are a, a, a fan of action platformer games. Okay, I think that's all for now, guys. Uh, again, I.
this is my choice these are my recommendations you can agree or disagree with me this is an open discussion but please if you have something to say um, say it but respectfully please um, let's do a interesting but again respectful discussion about this these games okay that's all guys I hope you have enjoyed these mini reviews uh, I will be recommending much more games for uh, the virtual console okay that's it see you next time